January 18, 1994, Chicago tied the record of minus 11 as the coldest high temperature. Almost 25 years ago to the day, that record is in jeopardy. CBS 2's Lauren Victory takes a look at how we handled the deep freeze danger then and now. The last time Chicago's high was this low. It basically looked the same. It felt the same, too. <laughs> it's cold out here. The year 1994. Fur coats, face covering scarves and hats tried their best to block the bitter cold. All of it comes with this little rechargeable battery pack. But a quarter century later. And it has multiple settings um, for how warm you want your gloves. Our outerwear can generate mm -hmm. heat. It's special panels within the clothes that will actually heat up. It's not just your body heating the vest or the coat like it normally would. You're getting even more heat than you usually would. Technological advances are helping us limit our extreme weather exposure across the spectrum. Oh, I'd much rather be cold now than 25 years ago, for sure. <laughs> From hailing a ride to grabbing some grub to almost perfectly timing the bus. Can you think of ways that technology is helping you stay warm? So I like to plan my trip ahead of time, so I use Google Maps just to give me like the less walking I can do, the better. Need to run an errand farther away? There's an app to find the closest parking. And when you snag that spot, you can pay while you're still inside. Well, I don't really use the phone for those purposes. So how has Robert Lawrence's severe weather strategy changed since the 94 polar snap? Snuggle with my wife. <laughs> Good old fashioned way. <laughs> exactly. Of course, nowadays people have the ability to escape the sub zero temperatures altogether. Checking email, placing orders, and video conferencing, all from the comforts of your couch. I'm Lauren Victory, CBS 2 News.